Ben, why do you look so sad? Did someone take away a sloth? I still can't get the RAM expansion to work on this N64. Oh, do you need some help? Yeah, I've been researching about it. So the RAM bus runs at a really high frequency, so terminating it manually like I've been doing hasn't mm -hmm. been working. So all I'm trying to do is take the jumper pack and rewire it directly onto the board with some terminating resistors and capacitors. But whenever I try that, it stops working. So I don't know if I, the wire length, how critical it is, I just need some more help. You're trying to make this modification because because originally it was vertical and you want to make it horizontal so that yeah. if, if we make if we can make this flat we have more room to put in heat sinks mm -hmm. and a better path for the heat to flow so basically I'm trying to make this smaller so we can make a better heat sink solution because the n64 we did have running was running too warm so I want to yeah I want to make this as I mean you should be able to make it this small mm -hmm. it's not really that hard to solder it's just that um, I've tried the exact value resistors the same number of capacitors and I can't get it to work so we need help with the RAM bus termination on the N64. We're trying to do it manually without the jumper pack. We're just wiring up the same thing that's in the jumper pack directly to a little piece of PCB and to uh, V-term and ground, but it's not working for us, so we need help. If you have any ideas for new techniques for Ben to try to get this thing working, let us know on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash TBHS. Once we get the jumper pack rewired in a nice flat configuration, I can design a nice beefy heat sink, and then we can finish this portable. Yeah!